and I am so glad Valentine's Day is over. It is such a draining day. But now, though, we get back to my first love. You know what I'm talking about, buddy. Who paint? I hear you. Let's get the guys together and paint. Did you know like 90% of my viewers are women? I know. Women. Every time I log into YouTube, that's all I see. But they are so freaking amazing, though. But we really need to show them what us guys can do. So come join the guys as we paint. We promise it will be a lot of fun. There's going to be some entertaining live chats, lots of colors, and definitely some interesting techniques. We may even have a giveaway or two. And obviously, that jokes. So join us. Come sit back, relax, and have some fun with us. I can guarantee that you'll have some fun, but I can't guarantee that someone won't be talking to you. Tapas? Me? Hello everyone. So tonight I'm doing a dustpan pour. Um, this is a commission piece and they have chosen the colors and I'm very happy with them. Um, what I'm doing uh, tonight, this is a 24 by 36 inch canvas, so it's fairly large. Hoping to leave some negative space. I'm going to uh, start on one end and kind of wind my way around the canvas uh, so that I end up with some uh, kind of a wavy line. Um, and so let me introduce you to my colors. So first I have Amsterdam's uh, Prussian Blue Thalo, which is a very dark color, dries almost black. Um, and I also have Amsterdam's Lamp Black. And I have Liquitex Basics Deep Violet and Amsterdam's Permanent Blue Violet. And then I have Amsterdam's Grayish Blue. And this color I'll be using in the pour, but it is also my negative space color. So I've got uh, almost 30 ounces of the base color, so that should be plenty. Um, and uh, then my white is actually um, mixed a little differently than the other colors. This is Amsterdam's uh, titanium white mixed with an equal amount of Deco Art Satin Enamel in the Pure White, um, and then mixed um, two times, uh, two parts uh, Floetrol. The other colors are with my regular point medium. So, I'm ready to get started. The first thing we're gonna do is layer our cups. I have two cups. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pour them on top of each other or beside each other, beside them. I'll figure that when I get going, but. Um, we're going to get our colors out here. Here. So let's see here. This um, grayish blue has a bit of a violet, violet tint to it. Um, so it goes really well with these violets. I really like it. Um, okay, so let's start with a little bit of the white with satin enamels in the bottom. Oh, before I do anything else, let me show you my consistency. So, this is the consistency of my paints. It does leave a mound, but it disappears quickly. It leaves a trace, but lasts for only about a second maybe two. So the disappearing mound is my uh, consistency this time.
first thing we're going to do is put some of the base coat color in the bottom. Just like if I was doing a, um, a ring pour on my canvas, I want a, a bit of a uh, base coat so that if I lose anything, I lose the base coat, I don't lose the, the pour that I'm about to do inside of it. This lets the composition of what I pour slide. And we're gonna go right over the top, over the edge there. I just want that wet, nice and wet, so I don't lose any of the pour. Okay, we're going to prop that up. Got a handy little sponge here, so I'm going to pour that, put that right there. Actually, more this way because I'm going to pour into it this way. Okay. So first cut, see how that cloud mix is already clouding up in the cup? That's gonna be really cool. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to do the second cup in front of that. I need something not quite as. There we go, that's better. That's better. Okay, we're going to pour right in front of it. Try and be a little more careful with the center on this one. Pinch that. There we go. Nice. Very happy with all of that. All right. Then off. So, which is going to be easier, going this way or going this way? I think this way. We're not going to start right on the edge because I want to be able to tilt to this direction and stretch out the lines. So we're going to start right about here. So we get an even flow all the way across. But if not, that's okay. Because I'm going to take it like this. And then I'm going to come down like that. Before we do anything else, we're going to
pop our air bubbles. Every time you move paint, you create air bubbles, even though these paints have been sitting um, for about eight hours after I mixed them. Most of the, and they're fairly thin, so the air bubbles had worked their way out, but just pouring it into the pan there made it, um, added quite a bit of air bubbles to it. This is so beautiful. Wow, I can't wait to stretch that out. This got a little muddy over here. So I'm okay if we lose a little bit of this, but these lines up here are fantastic. Loving all of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour on some of my base coat color. Sunshine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of. First things first, we're going to go off this direction. Tilt this way. I'm going to anchor it there.
soon as this goes off on the bottom, I will anchor this side also. Come down here. Loving that extra little drip. Awesome. Now we'll go this way. <laughs> Okay, some of these lines get a little funky and crazy. Most of my weight is over here on, on this side. So that you'll see that this side over here on, on my left, your right, isn't moving much. It's mostly over here. Because that's where the weight of the paint is. And we're gonna accentuate that a little bit and head towards that corner. Space there. Oh, cool. This is looking great. Okay, here's the overhead view. Super happy with this. I love the way this stretched out. Very nice. So we'll come in, start in the lower right-hand corner. So this um, bluish gray makes fantastic um, negative space. I really love it. And that cloud mix, let me zoom in here. So you can see how puffy it gets. I love all these little boulder cells with the lines going right through them. So cool. Those violets mixing together are awesome. Look at this it's section over here. This is almost abalone. So cool. Beautiful lines here too. Wow. Love that. Let's go back this direction. I want to show you this cloud center. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. I really love that. My lines got a little bit wobbly there. You see that? Wavy, waviness? Not ideal. I'd prefer for them to be, you know, more like concentric rings. But look at that. Oh my God. So pretty. Look at that. Those cells right there. Look at that. 
Hmm. Love that. And uh, this section up here turned out really nice too, right up to the edge. See that? Very nice. Look at this section here. Okay. It's kind of like the, the little bridge area between the two pores. And then this is what's left of my center from that first ring that I poured. Love it. And uh, love that up there too, so pretty. That section there is very dark. Very, very dark. I wish I could have tilted some of that off, but too many things that I like all the way around it. <laughs> I did also up in this corner I uh, erased what was there and added some of the negative space color because I wanted to balance it with what the negative space here and there and there and there and there all the way down this edge. So I wanted some balance there. I love how these lines got all uh, runny there and these little wispiness things that came out are very cool. Look at the colors in that section right there. So pretty. Look at that. Lovely. More little wispy things. I almost have some pink there. That must be the uh, the satin enamel white mixing with that um, that deep violet. But look at those rings there, or those lines. Much happier with those. So pretty. Love, 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 love that. All right. So there we have it. Please excuse the, excuse the glare, but I hope you enjoyed. And um, thank you very much for sticking around. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, maybe even share on your social medias. And uh, uh, thank you very much for sticking to the end. Uh, dry results hopefully will be coming up next. And uh, come back and see me sometime.